still respect the need to delay. Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safe point, please remain seated in your boat at all times. our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Others, like the jackfruit, fluted pumpkins, and dragon fruit growing here, represent the vast number of lesser known tropical plants. As we learn Learn more about these crops. We discovered cinnamon. that many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others uh, are well like adapted cinnamon, to growing in less than huh? ideal conditions. For instance, the fluted pumpkin thrives in the poorest soil conditions of Africa. With its edible seeds and leaves, the pumpkin could become an important staple for areas where other crops don't grow easily. The unique looking dragon fruit is actually a member of the cactus family. The fruits are high in vitamin C, rich in antioxidants, and have a light, sweet taste. The fruit originated in Mexico or Central America, but is already becoming popular in Asia. It could become a source of important nutrients for people living in many areas of the world. These and many other lesser known crops may one day be as popular as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. Horse More than 28 million tons of bananas Water are eaten chestnut. annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Papaya, ginger, miracle fruit, cacao, banana. There's a little banana. See him? When we mention farming, we probably don't think of fish. But fish My farming is or aquaculture it. is an innovative way to increase harvests, protect wild fish populations, and produce a healthy crop. Like the sturgeon that grow to over 300 pounds. Now that's a lot of cattle. Salamander, bats, and catfish are three popular crops made by fish farmers around the world. Most are grown in open ponds, but innovative recirculation systems like ours can conserve water and improve production. More than 200 different species of aquatic animals and plants have been successfully harvested. Even these American alligators can be successfully raised in controlled environments. Now, nearly half of all fish consumed worldwide is now raised on farms. Making aquaculture an important part of our efforts to produce a bountiful harvest and protect the animals We grow about 5,000 pounds of fish each year. Many of which are featured in restaurants around Walt Disney World. This greenhouse is full of some of the best ideas for improving plant yields. Ruffles sprouts. Okay. See how they look how they grew on. They look on the stalk there. You ever knew that? You ever knew that? Green sunflowers and winter melons that are more resistant to pests and diseases. Scientists have even been able to breed plants that can flourish in marginal areas where water and nutrients are in short supply. The result of these efforts is higher yields and less impact on the environment. Oh, look at those big turnips. Mellow. Huh? Nine pound melon. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like the ones you see help to increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. We're growing these nutritious sweet potatoes above ground. This method increases yields, produces larger potatoes, and can be used where rich soil is in short supply. We're growing lettuce using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, 
we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Here's something you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally developed by Chinese scientists. Tomato trees live longer and produce many more tomatoes. One of ours lived 16 months and produced over 32,000 fruits. Much of the produce you see growing in our greenhouses is served at the restaurants here at the Lake. The future of agriculture includes some high-flying ideas like the ones you see here. The aquaponics system on your left integrates hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a source of natural fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less resources. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants.